Thank you so much, and thank you so much for all your help and advice. Oh, no worries. No, thank you for your help. Hey, young man. Hello. I'm having a beer. Do you want one? How was your afternoon? I was f***ing myself. I was, like, so worried I was going to tip the load off the edge or hit the plant. But you were a very good teacher. You helped a lot. The hardest people to teach are the people who keep saying, I know, I know, mm. I know. Oh, they're the worst. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I know. But it's cool. <laughs> Should we go see what we got, Dumit? Sure. All right, Chris. All right. What do you do? I'm going to pour it. You call it out, OK? OK, cool. The keyhole cut has averaged 175 ounces a week. 70. 170. 185. Oh my god, exactly. Well, that's because that's only part of it. Here is part. One of Australia's oldest and most venerable industries is being illuminated by a former model who left the city life to chase gold. A 27 year old young gold miner who has spent decades in the desert, Tyler Mahoney has become the modern prospector idol. She has devoted her entire life to the search for this precious metal. By sharing tales of gender inequality in gold fever and terrifying encounters in the outback after becoming a model, Tyler Mahoney is exposing what she calls the secret underbelly of the gold business. As the Australian star of the widely watched Discovery Channel series Gold Rush, Mahoney has broken down boundaries between genders and become the face of modern gold mining. She has also written a memoir called Gold Ligger, which describes her incredible journey. In addition to exposing a male-dominated industry with discrimination and workplace harassment, where women are still subjected to demeaning requests, her memoir describes a childhood spent scaring the desert with her family, a brief stay in a large city, and finally her return to what she considers her true vocation treasure hunters driven by a feverish quest for unimaginable riches hidden beneath the Earth's surface also reveal the extraordinary lengths to which they will go. The treasure hunters were born to parents who were gold prospectors in Western Australia. At the age of 12, Mahoney found herself stranded in the bush with two younger relatives while traveling to a new campsite on the back of a motorbike. These experiences defined Mahoney's childhood and helped shape her into the tough and determined woman she is today. Witnessing her mother confront the daily sexism in the industry also left a lasting impression on her. Mahoney's upbringing consisted of weekends and school holidays spent exploring the outback while her parents searched for gold. Despite being teased by her classmates, she learned to handle it with resilience. While a burly guy once verbally attacked Mahoney while attempting to sell her fool's gold, these experiences paled in comparison to the terrifying tales she heard. Mahoney remembers observing these difficulties as she grew older and experiencing them herself. Prospectors sometimes operate in dangerously isolated locations with no protection, frequently miles from civilization, which can be particularly dangerous for a woman working alone. In one terrifying incident, Mahoney's mother was prospecting hundreds of kilometers away from the closest town with her sisters. During a break, she suddenly noticed a man staring at her through the bushes next to her car. Her heart began to race, and she used a two-way radio to alert her sisters and call a male friend for help. Fortunately, they were able to chase the intruder away, but the possibility that the situation could have gone wrong lingered constantly. The bush is a place where I feel secure and at ease, so you always have to keep that unsettling what-if in the back of your mind. Though sexism in the gold mining industry has gradually improved, Mahone acknowledges that there is still a long way to go and that many women may still struggle to overcome the obstacles in this male-dominated field. Mahoney suggests writing a separate book if she were to record every instance of sexual harassment and discriminatory treatment she has experienced because you don't fully understand the consequences until you've lived with them your entire life. Tyler Mahoney openly discusses her career, personal life, and mental health in her memoir. Hi everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush official channel.
I hope you're all having a great day. Before we begin, please press the subscribe button and give this video a positive rating. When the sun disappeared below the horizon simultaneously, it created extensive shadows across the vast Australian outback. When Tyler Mahoney was gathering other prospectors around a crackling bonfire, the air was thick with expectation and he was beginning to unearth the unwritten stories that lay beneath the surface of the shimmering gold fields. Tyler was getting ready to reveal the dark secrets of gold mining. Recognized for her unorthodox strategies and her ability to read the terrain like an old script, the flickering flames cast an ethereal glow on her face. With a penchant for adventure, Tyler was an experienced prospector. She was also known for her ability to read the terrain. As the firelight flickered in her eyes, she drew the gathering nearer, hinting at the mysteries that awaited those brave enough to enter the shadows of the gold rush. The group drew in closer, drawn in by Tyler's comments, eager to learn the hidden facts that lay beneath the surface of the career they had chosen after all. With her battered hat drawn low over her eyes, Tyler began to tell the first of the dark secrets, which were the tales of prospectors who had met their demise as a result of the awe of gold. Her voice was a low murmur that mirrored the whispering wind that was blowing through the eucalyptus trees around the area. For every nugget that glistened in the sunlight, there are secrets buried deep within the earth. I have seen males driven to insanity. It's a cry not unlike the sound of an avalanche that echoes through the valleys, enticing even the most composed people. It is common for us to sacrifice reason in order to achieve a goal as as Tyler talked on, pictures of lone miners making their way through the barren countryside, their eyes filled with desperate determination, appeared before the group. She explained that the gold rush was a two-edged sword that could lead to both unthinkable prosperity and catastrophe. Tyler portrayed rivers that were once pure as being tainted with mercury, majestic forests that were stripped bare and ecosystems that were altered as a result of the persistent search for wealth. The second dark secret that Tyler revealed to the audience was the environmental toll that was exacted by the search for gold. The very earth we walk on is affected by gold mining, not just the fortunes of those who pursue it. Tyler was dejected, saying that there was a price to be paid by the land and its inhabitants for every ounce of gold that was considered, that the consequences would last for millennia, and that it was a very high-stakes game. The group listened with a sense of solemn reflection as they realized that their pursuit of gold had come at a cost that extended beyond the glittering surface. Tyler begged them to consider mining operations that are ethical and sustainable while the fire was crackling. I mean to strike a balance between the pursuit of profit and a responsibility to the environment, Tyler started looking into the third dark secret, which was the competitive and brutal mining industry. The author's tales encompassed the establishment and collapse of coalitions, clandestine declarations, and cunning maneuvers by adversaries that transpired in the shadow of the sunlit gold fields. The quest for wealth may testify to the frailty of even the strongest bonds. Tyler expressed caution, it is said, the competition gives rise to a different kind of fever one that transforms allies into adversaries, with each party examining the others, claim with a mixture of jealousy and loathing the scorching heat of the outback, is the setting for a ballet of shadows that is being performed after after coming to the realization that the friendliness of the campfire might conceal the simmering tensions that frequently lurked under the surface the group exchanged knowing glances with one another. As a result of Tyler's findings, they were compelled to face the harsh realities of a society in which the pursuit of riches has the potential to damage even the most intense relationships. Throughout the course of the night, Tyler constructed a tapestry of dark secrets that projected a complicated picture of the gold rush to the audience. She spoke about the difficulties that were experienced by indigenous groups who were uprooted as a result of mining operations, the social inequities that emerged as a result of the newly discovered wealth and the toll that was exacted 
on the mental and physical well-being of individuals who devoted their life to the search of gold. The fire was burning low, and it created long shadows that appeared to dance with the ghosts of the stories that Tyler had shared with them that had not been repeated, taking in the weight of the dark truths that hung in the air. The group sat in silence during the entire conversation. The atmosphere changed drastically as the sun rose because of Tyler Mahoney's realization that the search for gold was a journey not only into the depths of the earth, but also into the human soul. Tyler is renowned for his ability to uncover hidden realities, and he was able to peel back the layers of the gold rush, uncovering a story that went beyond the glittering surface. The group dispersed as the first light of dawn illuminated the outback in shades of pink and yellow, each prospector carrying with them the weight of Tyler Mahoney's discoveries. Rose-colored Tyler, with her figure etched against the rising sun as she watched the prospectors depart into the vast outback, knew that the dark secrets of gold mining would continue to play a significant role in the lives of those who dared to pursue their wealth outside of the light. The gold rush, with all of its contradictions and complexity, would continue to exist, leaving an indelible mark on both the landscape and the hearts of those who sought their destiny in the land of dreams and shadows. Thanks for watching my video.